Hey guys, Nova Explosion. Welcome back to more Dragon Quest IV Chapters of the Chosen. Am I loving a continue or suspended adventure? This is not where I'm supposed to be. What the heck? Yeah, this is way earlier. Oh, am I loading a save state? I think we're loading a save state today, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, there we go. Was I not able to quick save? Okay, that makes a lot of sense because I probably would have quick saved before anything else. Uh, but yeah, we're continuing through the sword or sword. I saw sword here. That's why I said sword. We're continuing through the uh, the cave of the silver statuette. We are hopefully gonna get oh metal slot. <laughs> Never mind. That was short lived. Anyway, we are definitely going to finish this chapter today because, you know, Tornico's chapter, it, it's kind of a stinker, I'm willing to admit. It is the, easily the worst chapter of the game and probably the lowest point of Dragon Quest IV as a whole. But we should be wrapping it up today. We're like fairly close to the end of it. But you know. What am I doing here? I think I remember getting stuck here. Or maybe I'm not stuck and I just wanted to end my stream. Yeah, hopefully we can, um, finish Tornico's chapter in, like, the first hour or two of stream so we can move on to, like, the good chapters again. Is this chapter eight? It's, like, easily the lowest point of Dragon Quest IV. Get this squid out of here. Or whatever that's supposed to be. I mean, it looks kind of like a... Some kind of squid. Hey, leather shield. Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, this room is just like, um... There's a bunch of chests, but I'm not really sure what they want me to do. And the encounter rate is also ridiculously high. More metal slimes. They both decided to run. You know what? I might actually use that uh that tornico thing. Yeah, this one. Oh, just go with the staircase. Maybe this will take me where I want to be. Okay, this looks like a new area. Probably have to find something to like lower the water level or something. Oh wow, Padfoot actually makes the encounter rate, like, manageable. Um, there's a roadblock in Tornico's chapter coming up, so we're going to want to have a, a few items, which is also why they give you a lot of equipment for this part, because of something they'll do later in the chapter, which I'm not a big fan of. And I'm already not a big fan of Tornico's chapter. So, you know. There's a button here, I will gladly press it. And that lowers the water level. By the way, I haven't even finished breakfast yet. I still have like a hash brown and a half. <laughs> but I like, I have to stream early today because I'm going somewhere today. And uh, especially because I missed like three days of streaming last weekend, I definitely can't afford to have a day off. It does sound like I just eaten because I just like devoured one of my hash browns. A nice 760 gold. Or gold coins. I played Tales of yesterday, which is why I said gold. Hey, and a dildo herb. Break all this. And then we have a chimera wing. Should have a few. I don't have any medicinal herbs, really? That wasn't very smart by me. I mean, we have Laurel, but his MP is only so good. We might need to backtrack this dungeon and go buy some herbs. I don't know if Laurel's heal is going to be enough to get us through. Especially because he also spends time using Sizz whenever he can. Honestly, even though it's a damaging move, I'd rather him not do that. I'd rather him just stick to healing me. And save his MP for that, but you know, what are you going to do? DS game AI is not very... smart. I mean, Dragon Quest AIs are, like, decent for what they are. If only I could have control. Oh, I got a Minnesota Herb. Nice. If only I could have control of Laurel, though. That would help. 
Good luck in Iron Lance. That's what Pearl can equip. The path effect wears off. I probably should use Padfoot. I feel like the encounter rate is perfectly, like, it's manageable with Padfoot. It doesn't even reduce it by that much. This encounter rate is already really high. Hey, Iron Armor. All I'll say is we'll need that Iron Armor, so it's good that we're getting it. That'll come in handy, as well as the Steel Broadswords. So you know. Better to stack up on them now. Also, Padfoot, like, doesn't take MP, because Tornico has no MP, so that's really cool. Being able to use it whenever we want, kind of like a repel from Pokemon. Except not as reliable, but good enough. I got the Holy Lance. Can Curl equip lances? I don't remember. I don't see anything. Alright. No, this isn't where I want to be. I think if I go to the downstairs area, we can go move some. We can find some more chests or something. Yeah, use this. Get across. Alright, so we have Steel Broadsword. How many of these do we have? I don't like, um... Are they on Tornico? Yeah, that makes more sense. Transfer all of these to the bag. I still have my packed lunch, too, which is nice. I wish it stacked the items instead of them having separate slots, but what are you gonna do? Do we have a few? Oh, they do! I'm just stupid. Four steel broadswords, six iron armors. Alright. So, don't ask why. You'll see why later in the chapter. You're going to need six iron armors and six steel broadswords. You cannot finish this chapter without six iron armors and six steel broadswords. You'll see why in the story in a minute. But I'm just putting that warning out right now. And the best way to get them is to grind in this dungeon. They specifically made the um, item drop rate good for those items in this dungeon, because that's what they wanted to do. Also, I just got one there. They made it easy to get them, but there is always the possibility that, like, yeah, you're gonna have to grind no matter what you do, you know? There's always that possibility. But, like, if we have six by the time we get to that story flag part, then that's great. That'll make our lives easier, we can get out of this chapter a lot sooner. Because the sooner we're done with Tornico's chapter, the more I'm back to having fun with the game. I think that's why I did, like, a really short stream last time. Because during Tornico's chapter, like, I did have plans, but I was at least gonna go three hours, but I just wasn't feeling it. And I think it was mostly Tornico's chapter that did that. But everything else about Dragon Quest 4 I really like. Like, I like, uh, chapter 2 and 4. Obviously, 5 is the best, because that's, like, the bulk of the game. But, like, it's really just Tornico's chapter I actively don't like. It's, like, the worst part of the game. It's weird, because it's, like, sh a short chapter, but you can be in it for, like, two to three hours because of the grinding necessary. Like, they make it so... So much more tedious to finish it than it should be. Like, it's actually a pretty short chapter, but adding all the, like, hey, you need this to move on, or you need, like, more money and stuff, they make it longer and padded out than it needs to be. <laughs> you know? It has so much padding, they could have trimmed out so much fat in it. I digress. Air is the silver goddess statue. But yeah, they could have trimmed out so much fat in Tornico. It's honestly on par with Ragnar's chapter, but they just had so much fluff that doesn't need to be here. Luckily, we'll be done with it soon, and then we can uh, move on to the good chapters again. Get him! I think you have 3 HP. Yo, paralyzed. Let's go. Nice. 1300. I just realized Tornico's level 9. And now he's like level 11 or 12, whatever he gets to. Hey, Yoken Club. 
kind of hate that the Metal Slime is wasted on Tornico of all characters, but you know, it's fine. I kind of wish I got it with a character I actually care about because, like, in Chapter 5 you get everyone, but, like, I don't see myself using Tornico all that much, if at all. Alright, you know what? I am streaming, but I need to eat my hash browns. <laughs> Before they get cold, I need to finish them. I wish this game had cutscenes, so I can, like, eat them during nose, but it does have, like, dialogue. I have to read it, though. Alright, well, I'm glad we found the, um... Oh my word, what the heck? I have another... Alright, more iron armors. Oh, sword. Do I have six of each? I want to make sure I have six and six. Five! Alright, I really hate to do this, but I should try to get one more steel broadsword from these encounters. Just one more. I'm glad we got most of the iron armors and steel broadswords from this dungeon. We're going to need to get one more steel broadsword. So hopefully we can just find it real quick before moving on. I'm glad we found the silver statue as fast as we did, though. We're, like, in the home stretch of Tornico's chapter. Like, there's not much to do. I think we're, like, very close. Again, it's only really long if you get unlucky with drop rates and stuff. And I do like that they put, like, one or two in chests. I mean, honestly, I would rather them just not have this requisite in general, but, I mean... They found ways to mitigate it. It could have been worse. I still would rather it just not be in the game, but... It could be a lot worse, I guess. I'm just giving this chapter the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Honestly. I still find it the least enjoyable chapter of all the chapters in the game. Come on, just give me one more Steel Broadsword. That's all I need. Just need my last broadsword and I can move on happily. Never looking back at this chapter again. Chain sickle, that's not what I need, game. I have 23 inch of gold. I keep saying gold because I was playing Symphonia yesterday. That happens. I'm playing Persona, which is called Yen. SMT, Maka, this game, gold coins, I think, and then Hells Up is gold. I'm playing four different games right now. There's also the occasional time where I'll say Gil or Gela for Wild Arms and or Final Fantasy and Wild Arms respectively, because you know, I play those games a lot. So many different currency terms. Please give me a steel broadsword. I'm literally dying. Just one more. I might just buy it, <laughs> if worse comes to worse. Because I hope you can buy steel broadswords. If you could, maybe I'll just- maybe I'll check and see if we can buy them. I think that's what I'll do, and if we can't, then I'll have to grind it. I think you're able to buy them, but like, it's recommended you get most of them from the dungeon, because like, you need your money for other stuff. I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go see if I can buy it real quick. If I can buy it, I'll just buy one steel broadsword. Because I have the funds. Endor, I think? Do you have any sealed broadswords on hand? Not in Endor. Do you think Bally Moral has any? I hope so. I don't think they will, but I hope they do. We can just move on the story for now and wait until the game tells us we need 6 and 6 and then I'll just go back to the cave if I can't buy it. Anyway. Alright. 
So we need to go to Endor. I think it's this house. I don't remember who to talk to. It's one of you. I don't need to read this. Maybe up here. You? I think it's you. That's. Can it really be the silver goddess statue? I'll pay tw no, 25,000 gold coins. Well then, will you sell it to me? Yes. Wonderful. Here you are. Now it's mine. Got my gold coins. Thank you. So I think now we need to go to the weapon shop. This one, I think. Yeah, this is the shop that Tornico can buy. Sorry, is the shop downstairs closed, you say? Yeah, well, I'm not getting any younger. In an ideal world, I'd sell up and use the money to retire somewhere nice. How about it? I'll sell it to you. Yes. I need more money, dang it. I guess I'll sell the stuff I don't need. I hate this chapter. I hate this chapter so much. Alright. Do not sell the steel broadswords and the iron armors. This is gonna take forever, I feel. Sell these. We don't need these. so close yet so far I okay, take my iron lance still need like 4,000 give or take more like 6,000 like 5,000 ish I could sell one of these he sell for a lot all right I think we just go find that broadsword and grind equipment in general. I think that's what we do. Because honestly, we're gonna need it. And this chapter really is the worst chapter in the game. I hate it. I forgot how much they make you grind, essentially. You could trim out so much of this. It could have also streamlined the way you get money. I'm not saying not to have any, like... I'm not just saying not to have any periods of, like, hey, you need this much money to move on, but, like, at least reduce it, or increase the money rate, or make it more streamlined, where you have more opportunities of getting money through the story. I'm fine with there being like flags of like, hey, you need it. That's a leather shield. I don't need that. I'm fine with it being like, hey, you need some money to move on, but like, they could have streamlined it a little bit and trimmed out so much, so much fluff. Hey, vampire bat, stop being annoying. Scale shield might sell for a lot. I don't really know, though. My hash brown number three is waiting to be eaten. Give me a steel broadsword. Give me a few because apparently I need to make more money, which is just asinine. Alright, you 
boy needs some Gatorade. <laughs>